Hi, today I want to show you how to set up your first WIST project. And it's really super simple. So first of all, you want to configure your general design in Webflow and you need to add attributes as you would do in FinSuite attributes or in Formly or um, in all of those other tools, you need to add data attributes in the custom attribute section, basically for every element you want WIST to interact with. Now, WIST is a JavaScript library which customizes and adapts as you do changes on their dashboard, right? It, it They give you the dashboard and the way you configure things on the dashboard reconfigures your JavaScript file. So in order for WIS to work properly, you need to give things attributes so the JavaScript file can do its JavaScript magic. So I have some elements in here. And basically, I want to click on here and have this number count up. So I need to add a WIS attribute on here of WIS counter button 1 and on the number that I want to count up of WIS counter button Num uh, counter number one. So WIST can count this up to one and this can be registered on click to do the action right in here. So I will click on here. So I need to add a WIST attribute with any generic name, ideally camel case. If, if you want, you can also do like minuses. But if I click on this element, this will need a WIST attribute. If, and if I want this to change based on a dynamic state, I need to add a variable, uh, an attribute, excuse me, an attribute in here as well. And now I want to make sure to publish that. And now I'm going to create a new project. So in WIST, in the dashboard, you have this section called new project. And what you have to do is you're just going to go to your Webflow site settings and you're going to go to the custom code section. Now, you would need to have an agency plan or a freelance plan to add the custom code part, or you would need to be able to, um, to upgrade to a plan in order to do this. Um, but if you don't want to, you could also use a service like Cloudflare to have that custom code, ad that embed edit or Netlify if you want to self-host, that will work as well. But we're going to do the easy part here. So. I just went to WIST and in here I added my Webflow staging domain. It needs to be the staging domain because WIST will only work with the staging domain. Now I'm going to get the embed and I want to copy this embed and I will add that to my site. Now you may ask yourself, what is the WIST embed? Now I will get two files in WIST. The first file, as you can see, is just not found right now because there is nothing configured on it yet. And the second file is the index.js that WIST gives me. This is basically all the functionality of WIST. And of course, there's more and more and m way more lines behind that because it's loading it from chunks. So just so that you know that this is not all things that is behind WIST, there's way more behind it. If you go to the chunk, you see, oh, oh, I think I typed in the wrong syntax, but uh, I need to do v2, v2 slash Chunk, you see there is more code and this just goes so on and so forth throughout the code. So this is just so that WIST optimized this. In V1, it was all in one JavaScript file. Now they have like this hybrid approach of using the chunks because your browser likes to uh, download five things at the same time. And downloading five things at the same time or 10 things is way faster than loading one big thing. So WIST is utilizing this here to improve your uh, site's performance as you add interactivity on there. Now, configuring this yourself is quite of an interesting thing to do because you then have to manage multiple JavaScript files at the same time, which WIST is handling right here for you. So it will automatically get the name and I just have this to my first workspace. Now I click on Create Project and now I am off to the races to basically set up the basic functionality. So let's actually just do only one of those counters. I can simply go on the button here and now you will see I created an action to interact with that button. I can do on event, I can do a click for example, and now I'm listening to clicks. In WIST, this is a high level, I can do count one as a variable. A variable is a way how we can store data. Now I always have to write return and I can just add a, st a starting value. 
Now, if I load this page, you see the starting value is zero. Now, if I go back to this element, I can go to a set variable, I can select my variable, and I can return and do a custom function in here. I will take the current value plus one all the time. And as you can see, it is counting up from zero to one. Now, if I'm going to go in here and I'm going to refresh the page to make sure everything was successfully populated. As I click on here, you see that the number is counting up. Now, I need to go to that element and map it to the variable. I'm going to go to set text. I'm going to write return, just like that. And I'm going to base it on my variable. Now, as you can see, if I'm going to click on here, it is counting up. And this is happening fully in real time, fully reactive. I don't need to manage different states using code. Normally, I would have to go update the variable and then run a function for the text item to update every time I update the variable. And there are no really event listeners for functions itself, so they only work on elements. Now, WIST is taking the workload off of you that you would need to do all of these things with code, and it's giving you an easy to use environment to build an MVP within Webflow. And it's great for MVPs. I built all my MVPs with it. I think it's a great tool for prototyping. And yeah, I hope that you're going to build a lot of exciting stuff with it. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And the next video will be actually managing multiple global variables so that I can count those up too, only having this within one variable. Because I'm seeing a lot of projects having 100, 200, 300 variables, which is not a best practice approach. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate all your wonderful support and yeah, all your wonderful comments, all your wonderful messages on Discord. And yeah, thank you so much for your time and have a good one. Bye-bye.